Okay, this is Mike Johnson again, and we're going to talk through the final part of setup for Prosociate, which is adding in your Amazon Associate ID and the Amazon Web Services Access Key and Secret Key. Now, we've made it simple for you. All you have to do, um, if you don't already know your Amazon uh, Associate ID or you say you haven't signed up for their affiliate program, all you have to do is click on the link here. Uh, click on it, and it's going to take you through login and or sign up and once you're signed up and or logged in you'll come to this dashboard inside the Amazon Associates homepage. Now here you will have uh, your tracking ID uh, which is your base tracking ID here that you can use um, for adding in just like this right here into your Associates spot right here now that being said the best thing to do if you're building multiple uh, prosociate powered sites is to uh, click on your manage link here and create a specific tracking code so you can click manage and here you can add click add tracking id to for your specific site and it can be anything you want it to be uh, you know now if it's been used already they're gonna give you an alternate number and name for it to use so you can make it as specific as you want the thing is it doesn't matter how long it is uh, just make it specific to the site that you're creating that way you can really get an idea of how your sites are performing as opposed to having everything uh, tracking through your single base associates account so you know you take your new you know new tracking ID and then input it into your associate ID field and that's it for that now of course this is going to be associated with your country and here's the available countries in the settings now some of the uh, page settings or whatever might look a little different by virtue of the fact that uh, you're on a different Amazon site but for the most part these are they all look the same and there's not really any big difference between them now the thing that most people have a problem with is getting their Amazon web services uh, or Amazon Web Services Secret Key. Amazon's changed this a little bit recently, and as of uh, April 21st of 2014, you'll no longer be able to do it the old way. So for um, this video, we're gonna be showing the new way to get your Amazon Web Services Key, which is through the Amazon IM page. Now, all you're gonna have to do is click the link here, and it'll take you to your Amazon um, excuse me your Amazon I am page now what's going to happen is either you're going to be able to log in here or it's going to ask you to sign up once you sign up and get access confirm your email um, you're going to be taken to the Amazon the console for the I am home page the dashboard here now to get access to your secret key all you have to do is either click on the drop down here and go to security uh, credentials and it's going to uh, give you a little warning thing here uh, I'd click do not show this message again and uh, continue to security credentials click on the plus sign here and you're going to see you can only have two sets of keys and they will no longer show your secret key uh, except for one time so when you first create it you see here I'd have to delete one of these keys um, but there's a link here it says create new access key and when you click on create new access key it's going to give you the ability to download your access key ID and your secret key see they won't no longer show secret keys except once and you have to download it and then save that on your computer uh, for future use now another way if you're already using two keys and you don't want to use those keys for your associate accounts 
the alternate way to get those keys is to go to the users function and click on users and click on create new user now here you can create a new user and you can just say you know that I'm using it for for associate make sure you have check generate an access key for each user click on create and now new security credentials have been created now what I can do here is I can click on show user security credentials and you'll see here I now have an access key that I can copy and go back to uh, my site and paste it in here and I go back and copy my secret key and I input it in and then all I have to do is click on save changes and because that's a new key it's probably going to take a second or two to hit the API but if I go back to Amazon here you're gonna see that if I try to just close this window it's gonna give me a warning it's gonna say you haven't downloaded your credentials and this is the last time they'll be available for download which means if you don't want to have to delete this and create new security keys um, you need to click on download credentials uh, to your hard drive so you have your access key and your security key on your site as the last time you'll be able to access them so after that go ahead download and then you'll be able to close the window so I will click on download to download my file and then once I do I can close the window and you can see my keys are now active and I go back to my installation we now have everything required uh, to move forward with continuing our setup of Prosocia. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, we'll be coming back and going through the other different areas of Prosocia.